in Toronto today. Hey, we got five hours till Toronto. But I got this little sling here because I separated my collarbone from my shoulder bone. And driving manual with one hand is pretty difficult. So it'll probably be closer to five and a half. It's not even like I hurt myself doing something cool. I was like playing tag football and I just fell on the ground. It wasn't even being hit by somebody. I just fell on the ground and popped my shoulder. <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> My hair is actually getting pretty long at this point. I think over my whole life, this is about usually the length that it gets where I'm like, okay, it's it's too much, I gotta cut it, and I usually do. Uh, but now that I'm like by myself, <laughs> and there's no one here to be like, Kyle, you look stupid, I'm really curious to see what it will kind of become when it grows even further. Like, I wanna have, I wanna like have hair, like, I don't know, like the surfer dudes where it kind of like falls and stuff. But at the moment, my hair just wants to keep on growing out almost like an afro. It's kind of weird. I've tried like not washing it for a while and letting it get greasy and heavy and that usually kind of helps. But then it just gets super curly. Like whenever it gets wet, tightens up like crazy. Quick pit stop for some lunch. Give my armor rush from the sling too. I notice if it's in it for too long, <laughs> my whole arm kind of just cramps up. And when I go to move it, it's really painful. So I just need to move it around a little bit to get the juices flowing. But also, my armpit gets crazy sweaty, like <laughs> disgustingly sweaty. That's all I'll talk about that. I gotta, I gotta eat. After driving one-handed so far, it's gone okay. There's been a couple times where there's really heavy wind and I'm mid-changing gear and the whole car just goes across the road so I gotta come back and slam it in. But, Man, it is busy here. I had to, to take off the sling because driving with one hand downtown with all this traffic, 100% 100 100 chance of an accident happening. So, <laughs> um, just had to <laughs> slight bit of pain, but it's okay. Made to the hostel. First time in a hostel, I've never stayed in one before. It's just a big room with eight beds. Uh, guess how much you think it is? Put in the comments right now. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. You probably said like, I don't know, $50 or under. Toronto Hostel, $100. Each one of these beds, $100 each. It's absolutely insane. I, I can't get over that. This is my bed here. Everything seems clean. Washrooms seem clean. So it should be okay as long as, I don't know, the other people staying here aren't assholes or super loud or anything. I don't know. I don't really know what else to expect though, so. <laughs> Kyle and I went to a movie and ended up getting back to the hostel around 1.30 a.m. So we ended up falling asleep around two. And at 3 a.m., at 3 a.m., I get woken up to a guy saying how I'm gonna K I L L with a capital K someone. I'm gonna kill someone. Somehow, the guy lost his blanket and he thought someone in the room had taken it. And then he also lost his glasses. He was just absolutely flipping out. He kept on saying, oh, he's like, oh I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill someone. I'm gonna go down to Kensington and buy a gun and then come back and kill someone. He was like going nuts. Luckily, it wasn't just me and Kyle in the room with this guy. There was uh, five other people. So 
uh, one D Dutch guy and this British girl ended up going down to the lobby while everybody else waited and they phoned the cops and got the guy out of there but that's not really what I wanted to uh, wake up to. <laughs> I was pretty freaked out, especially considering that we had just watched like a horror movie, so my mind was uh, not very happy. Yeah, I still have to stay one more night in this hostel. So hopefully the guy or anybody else who comes in to stay there is a bit more chill than him. in the hostel was much, much better than the first night. I got a full night's sleep, but I wasn't interrupted by anybody. I even knew that one person that I was sharing a room with was going to have to leave at 4 in the morning, but I'm I'm a heavy enough sleeper that I didn't even notice it, which was amazing. Still, I'm out here at 7 o'clock having to move my car because arcade only had the option until 7 a.m. unless I wanted to pay like another $40 which was absolutely absurd so still didn't get all the sleep I wanted but much better than before found park it in Kensington Market which if you haven't been to this area in Toronto is just a strip of vintage clothing stores. I was here yesterday, but I was too focused on looking through the clothing to get any footage of it. There's at least a dozen of these stores, and I think they're so cool. I really like the vintage style. And it's it feels like the owners just go to thrift shops and then buy anything that's cool and then charge 60 to 100 dollars for it it's a, a little absurd and because of that i feel like i could just save a lot of money by going through thrift stores but looking through the stores and everything is just super fun very cool vibe and i haven't found this kind of area in a in a city before i mean to be fair i don't spend too much time in cities but Yesterday while I was walking through, I just felt like I saw every type of person, every race, homeless people, rich people, single people, young families with babies. It was like so weird. Just every type of person was walking down this street, looking through stuff, getting food, having a good time. It was very cool.